Paul goes up to set up a plant. Oh, they don't check out on Whippy. Uh, Whippy is going to make sure that they get punished for that overstep. The wall down does rotations perhaps some over peaking to come into play penny is looking for that opportunity finds it as anderson turns his back and he will be punished for that and version one may have con tempted reconnaissance thrown in from dark zero but nothing really forthcoming great shot from penny screw face a little bit of a hole in that wall but the spike still goes down the snake bite not there soon enough in their endeavors and now fe is going to be moving in Throwing in the darts as well. Trying to do a bit of damage on the approaches, Penny. Cloud bursts have been put into position, and now they're going for that defusal. The toxin screen and the eyes of the attackers. And now Penny goes in with a final. There's two. Cola comes back with one of his own, but it shouldn't be enough. They're getting on this defuse very late, though. It's going to be incredibly close. The version one have this in the bag. No, oh, just with a second to spare. No real information attained, but Blade Storm is still breathing down the necks as Screwface getting very aggressive. Penny up against him. A fight to the death between all the daggers on the two jets. And Enemy battle. Penny strikes first. Penny takes the head of Screwface, and although the plant goes in, is still alive, still healthy, still getting aggressive, and picks up a second one. Now Xander just explodes through and disintegrates Cola straight to the head. There's another one as well, and version one, with a real poor buy, have made this one stick. They've made it work, and they've absolutely punished Dark Zero. Yeah, Zelsus will be shrouded by the barrier to get this diffuser more in form as a fragger i feel like so they got a lot going for him as penny just don't spoiler there yeah not a whole lot that dark zero can do low weaponry coming into this trying to overwhelm penny on site but penny just stands firm that's three might look for the ace here not quite gonna find it effies they just back off and that's really the biggest value of a showstopper not even the frag just to push people back that's a great kill from Screwface to kick this off. Mm, that's facilitated by the Showstopper, as you say. It forces them all the way back. However, it has forced out a resurrection from Zelsis. So back to 5v5. An important ult, though, has to be used. And Screwface... <laughs> Having a shot as Cola goes in for two. Penny now, though, does answer back. There's a second frag. Screwface downs him for the second time in the round. Says, no, you will stay down. This is my round. And I'll... Whippy... Has to try and do something with their screw face again. Very it's all about the patience here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game of chicken. There's no flash. I mean, they just have to kind of drive peek it out. They double up, but Effie's cashes in. That's a deuce to get both headshots, and that kind of puts us to a halt, Vince. I feel like that's just perfect timing for what you were talking about before with his fragging really coming up. That extra element as Xander makes the most of Cola stuck on the spike. Oh, that double setup is so good. Zelsis had to watch two completely separate angles. Screwface in the meanwhile, off camera does get the pick onto Effie's, and that would suggest this round. Those revenge retaliation frags in the alpha angle from Cola. Capitalizes and claims the life of Xander. I think Screwface just saw Penny underneath him. Not quick enough to save his life, but still. Dark Zero. Whippy. Oh, he's in a good spot here. Can hear the footsteps. Takes down the first frag. Can't double up for two. But the Hunter's Fury now can be reined in. He saw those players come in. And you can see it. Cold. They have Viper's Pit anchoring the A site. And they had Penny still holding down long B. So this is getting real awkward. But that's a big kill from Screw Fake Goodness. This is so awkward, Vince. It could have just sold, sold a false narrative, though, to DZ as well, because now he can get round the back. Xander is still here. Snake bite down. Big kill goes in onto Cola. That's the night the plan. They have to go back in again. They don't have enough time. time. The time is going to work against them, and with one player left, V... He's tossing in some of those shock bolts instead. Spike has been planted down. Screwface still looking. And here come all of the ults. Hunter's Fury locked down, tossed in. Screwface dispatches post haste of Zelsis. Now Penny back into the forefront has been fragging out of his mind. He's just shy of 20 frags right now as it stands. That lockdown does very little. Screwface again with the operator is 
She's doing so much damage. She's having so much impact in this round. But it's Anderson that cleans up the rest. They can, but it's not a lot. Here's Zelsa's pressuring jammies. Now here comes the slip in from Penny, but he gets caught. Zelsa still stands. The attack of the defense is going to be spread thin, but we are seeing V1 try to counter that by getting aggressive towards Tube. But now the res comes in, and now it's ever a threat, an issue they have to contend with. As Angie goes in, misses out in his spray. They're looking to try and skewer this site and see if they can try and explode this defense. But Zelsis finds the spike and drops it down. Just shy of 20 seconds left on the clock. And more frags coming in back to back anytime now. Anderson, though, big kill from him as Wifey gets one before he's traded back out again. And Zelsis that starts it off oh. the with aggression gets a hell of a shot onto Angie. But there needs to be two more. Wants to break down that wall, get back on track for this spike, forces it out. Snake bite down to greet him though. And that forces him away from the spike. Still plenty of time though on the clock, still available to him. Second snake bite out and there's jammies. I feel like they, they're gonna be okay with seven in their minds. They're gonna be very okay with Xander pushing through middle. Doesn't get two, but has opened up enough space to get a plant down on the spike. Over on the B side of the map. So he's done his job. And now he'll be waiting for his teammates to just pick up the pieces and run away with the reward. Fast rotation through, though, from DZ. Ooh, Cola just destroys Elsis, who gets too aggressive, pushes through the broken down wall. And now Penny at the back has been dinked down a 24 very quickly. Needs his teammates to help him out. Whippy take a bit of damage. They put down the wrong wall. They got to go for that defuse though. But Effie's on the drive-by. Just shoulder peeks into the frag. And that will be the round. Bonus round for Virgin 1. A chance for DC to keep this thing close. Great entry onto Penny to kick things off at long. And the heal comes in for Ange. Look at this though from Sander. Oh boy. Ooh. The timing. It's, it's not necessarily the most explosive, but they're just getting whittled away gradually. The good news, I suppose, is they have a Sage that has healed them, and Effies is going to alleviate some of that pressure that was mounting. 30 seconds left. Shock uh -oh. dots are very good. It's actually just picked up the kill on Cola, but Addison from above is going to strike down with Vengeance onto Whippy, and in doing so, maintains the player advantage. There is a rotational play in effect, but Screwface, oh, he decides to try and pull the plug, but that's into the arms of Zelsis, who will oblige point blank range with a Spectre. And now it's suddenly gone into a two on two. Resurrection is brought to the forefront. Anderson goes in. Effie's has been put in his place, tickling the spike, trying to draw out the remainder of these two players. Cloud Burst is in, but Jammies, right position, right spray, and the right outcome if you're Dark Z. One, they're not fully committed, but they're pretty much looking for it. And as Fury is out, as Penny decides that Anderson has no place in this round. Jammies, though, good return frag elsewhere. Shuts down B, forces the rest of the attackers to just go hell for leather through onto the A side, but be careful what you wish for, because Penny might just oblige. Penny might just take over, but it's Cooler actually that cools him off before Effies comes in, and Angie just picks up the pieces. In Is that going to deny the spike plant? Not quite. What's happening right now? So a post plant comes into play with all 10 players left. Make it Nine is also splatter screw face, and what a glorious pick that is for V1. And yeah, it is huge, it gets him a lot more flexibility here, puts a lot more pressure on Dark Zero, who decided to play for retake, and now they're having to live with that. Snake bite stopping the defuse for now. Penny still with baggers in the sight. And he's just gonna take it upon himself to just rip through everybody with the blade storm. Oh, it's three kills! Step up the mountain, but it's still a very steep and rocky surface. In comes Penny. A down goes Penny. Angie, what a shot that is. Wifey can just come back with one of his own. Here comes the other. Viper's Pit now being dispatched. And Xander hiding in amongst it. There's the resurrection as well from Zelsis. Penny will get a second chance, a second life. Effie's watches his just slip out of his fingers as Screwface goes in for more with the Operator. Spotting the player on the cross, Cloudburst to afford him safe passage back over onto the B side of the map. And it seems like it's going to be a late rotation here from Zelsis on V1. He's pushing in, but Screwface has a good idea as to what's about to come up. And this wall may not save his life. He's going to come in for the pick. He aims down the scope, but he won't miss. And that's the spike that gets splattered on the floor. Now Penny, he has a chance to shut down Screwface, who has no idea as to his current position. Position, takes him out of the equation, leaving just one player for Dark Zero remaining, and he's going for the long con, the long flank. Yeah, it's gonna come. He's making sure Yellow has no plays to the right hand side, but this angle from Penny is disgusting and it forces his attention away from Yellow.
He was spot on. The money for Dark Zero is looking pretty dire. Got a bulldog, got a spectre, a marshal, and a sheriff. Revealing area. I think it's safe to say that the Dark Zero have definitely made this a competitive game. 12-8 could have easily been a 10-10 sort of scoreline if a couple of things had gone slightly different. That is Valorant in a nutshell. Spike goes down. Easy does have a res. I'm gonna get detained from this. That would spell the end of this map. And so they respect it, they back away, they give up some room. Tons of utility being tossed towards yellow right now. Slowing orb thrown into position. Cloudburst also in effect, but the spray is so good from Whippy and Xander, and that's gonna have some killjoy utility set up as well to try to stop this key push. Nebulas are going to go up towards market and back halls, but again, they have to get through this turret. They have to get through these shock darts. There's nano swarms in play as well. And so they're swatted back, and they're going to try to double back now to A, but this is going to be a tough ass now. Uh-oh, the timing. Jamies gets caught. Good fragment here from Zelsus to clear out the site. Ainge takes a lot of damage. She's trapped now on the generator. Oh, Zelsus has had such a beautiful movement there, and completely catch him off guard, and now he's going for... Spray control, but he's even on low HP. Anderson just on 47. Didn't really matter. Gets a bullet between the eyes. Shin, the cheek to just run straight through, pick up the alt orb, and then even get kills behind it. Do you get flashed back again? No command though. Tossed oh, he missed the fragment. the fragment, and that allows him to stay alive at the back. It allows him to stay alive here. Do they realize it? They do go for the peak, but it's too little too late. The spike's been dropped down, but Celsius doubles back and makes amends for that previous mistake. 3v2, but Spike will be getting planted. Oh, I was scared when they didn't check one after they tested with the fragment. Oh, he's on the field of view! <laughs> now he is. And the turret's now going to work alongside Cola, but now Whippy, last man, but it gets put down by Anderson. Oh, it no. It felt like that mistake was threatening middle. It forces the defense to be a lot more spread than in scramble. Double back to tree, though. Ainge is ready for it with the Guardian. Getting some assists as well from his teammates. A battle ensues. Effie comes out on top. So does Xander. And now the ace split can come to fruition, Vince. Hands is Elsis. Door is down. Going to spend some time and give some positions away to spray through. All right, now deploy Cloudburst up to try and skew with that vision. Penny with one, Screwface pivots around, swivels in for the frag, but they now know where Collar is. They've seen him, he's dropping down, doesn't check hell, and will be put there momentarily by Zel. The, the Odin reload time is pretty significant. I love this play, but he won't get rewarded for it. Collar knew what was possible, knew this was a distinct possibility, makes the most of it. Lockdown has now been initiated. Got yeah. another nine seconds to get out of there. Oh, they haven't checked wine. Xander's in trouble. Uh oh. Well, in. Somehow still alive. And she didn't finish him off. A cola should be not long for this world either. Faking the plant, trying to draw up these defenders. Fakes it again, but they're not biting. They're oh. okay with giving up this plant. They know the importance of just winning this round. And in they come. Effie's with another one. But there will be no plant, and he will die anyway. Celsius is bridging the gap. Looking to try and push in here with the zero points, see if he can maybe suppress some of these players. Maybe not required, because Penny's just gonna take in the head of Anderson instantly. Now they're gonna get suppressed, detected both the KO and the Astra on the other side. And lining up the flashbang alongside it, Spike's already been planted. Oh. What a shot from Xander, though! Huge That's frag! Huge. There's another- Last week, had a good individual performance as well, fragging-wise. And it's carrying it over here. Up close, Screwface wants to get aggressive, getting around the back and making a lot of noise. They surely have heard this. Still gets the kill to Xander, though. Meanwhile, though, B-Main is being taken control over. I say that, but it's starting to backfire. Jam Ball comes in. He's still sitting here. He's still biding his time. He needs these kills. 46 HP. Gets wide swung from Angie Falls. Effie's all alone. Is pretty healthy, but he gets pulled by the gravity well. Perfect utility. No, they've made some space, but can they get entries? Hollow's been spotted, but so is Penny. Here comes a cloud burst. The Hunter's Fury on top of it as well. Grenades on top of heaven. Everything's being tossed into this site right now. Hunter's Fury so far hasn't done too much, but now Angie puts down the frag onto Whippy. Xander, Zelsis both come back. As the lockdown is put into effect. 
has been dealt with though. Push, trying to catch them off guard as Jammy's around the corner is dealt with swiftly. Now Addison up in the window is going to try his best, gets tagged down significantly, doesn't want to repeat this one. And all three players in the tree room is going to be so difficult to deal with. But Screwface takes the shot, can't burst down, and now is holding on. Odin is here to help him out. Could be a spray down from Xander right now as Jammy's has been dealt with twice. And Addison goes in for the spray. It's so close, but the defuse comes in. Nuts play. This could be a round winning play. Look at the movement from Screwface, who's still alive in that cloud burst, but he can only go one way, and that was yeah. to his tomb. And now Penny's going to make a move up onto the heaven side as they sweep in, but a good reaction actually from Jammies and his teammate pushing through as Angie Be That's one thing that's kind of playing into V1's hands to reinforce their control of the side. But yeah, they have to worry about being retake for multiple fronts now because they don't have a lobby control. Zelsus though gets a big kill on eight heaven that gives them another spot to play from even though they don't have a main Pull the plug on it immediately is tough. It's just kind of throwing away utility unfortunate three man stack on the B site Which is the intended target screw face has a good angle sauce <laughs> They're his disposal Zander still stuck on a bunch of stars or at least ones that he can detonate however he so should choose and Zelsis waiting for the lineup. Here comes the spray. The LMG is mowing down. Anderson trying to spray through that smoke is Whippy. But he's keeping himself alive, keeping himself interesting, and forcing the attention away from his defender. But here comes Effie's. Odin and Hans sprays down, but they're screw face. Is there enough time? No! They've no, done enough! They win the round! Forcing screw face away. The Tailwind still has the Operator, still healthy. Spike plant down. Keep in mind though, that Hunter's Fury could be so integral at this point. Oh god. There's one. Zero point tossed in as well. Suppresses a couple of players, but they still need to get their hands back on this site. Dark Zero taking so much time. They saw the previous round, what happens if they dilly-dally around? They're gonna lose this round right now, and Zelsis forced them into the open. Effies and Penny sprays them down when they... Didn't expect that one. I don't even know how I got that mixed up. Either way, Angie's got in with a frenzy, and he just decapitates Penny. Great start for Dark Zero, just what they were looking for. And Whippy, though, comes straight back. Living fell with that knife, knows that three people are here. He's actually going to come all the way out and peek this. A little bit risky. Kind of oh, Swarm has been put to the back of the site. Shock Dart alongside it. Great utility, but more importantly, the frenzies follow it up. FB's in the meanwhile, though, with a Shock Bolt. He's going to... We'll at least get a bit of intel from the recon of Bolt, but there's Jammies with the Frenzy and Dark Zero. They do. You start to slow down, but they're now going to pick up the pace again. Zelsis will be called upon to try and repel this push. Jammies has got the first, Sander goes in as well. Back and forth, Sander's still alive, but he's now been taken out through the box. And we were talking about the importance of winning this round and how huge it would be for DZ on their bonus. But well, they're not too far away from getting it done now. It's all on Penny. Penny, though, has been so good throughout this series. You wouldn't write him off, but Screwface takes him out with a fragment up onto Heaven. Acting as the initial explosion. They need to get kills quickly, but the utility has been so on point. It feels like they're trying to just claustrophobic and constrict DZ into the site to go down with the ship. This round is done, though. DZ will be picking up an eighth. And although there were some kills in amongst it, one player having an op and there's no alt in play for them. No lockdown, no nothing. It's all going to come down the gunplay. Gunplay is typically very solid, but honestly, they're... I've looked... Lost to see when it comes to retaking this site against Dark Zero so far. They've had no success whatsoever. And Screwface sprang through with the LMG, trying his best to do as much damage as possible, but more importantly, just stall them. It's now starting to get some success. There's one frag doing significant damage to Penny as well. As they try and rush through, Screwface gets yet another one, but now Xander is going to try and crack open the site. Screwface gets caught by Xander, who doubles up. Here's the Hunter's Fury, though, directly onto the site from Anderson to try and stall this one out and try and waste as much time as possible. But now it's getting diffused. The spike is getting fully diffused. They need to try and deal with this one right now, and they're going to get it done. V1 successfully retake the site with could all be a ruse finds a player 
deals with him. Zalsis has been taken out of the equation, but they've made enough noise over on Tree, and there's not that much time left that Dark Zero still have to press forward. Here comes the Judge, though, sentencing everyone to death alongside Penny's Blade Storm, and only Screwface remains the Lurkers clumped them up. This makes them very susceptible to utility. Effie's, though, will return the favor with a big headshot. Hunter's Fury at the back of the side is led to try and shred the oncoming aggressors, and it's doing so much work from Effie's. This round is falling apart. Screwface can't salvage it can't rummage this one together. Whippy and Elf FCs are still at the back of the site. They're still alive here. They could still get this one done. They're falling through. They're starting to just pile into the site. Effies is still here. Goes unchecked, but he can only get one. Yeah, it's going to be a tough retake now for the remaining... They come. Penny with a big oh, wow. Xander as well. They suddenly turn this one on its head. Screwface with one, but can't get two. And there won't be enough time for the defuse. V1 oh with a huge... Allow Xander to slip in for the finishing frag. Beautiful team play sequence there from version one. That puts them at map and series point. Again, just to update you, we've already seen... Oh, boy. <laughs> That'll leave a mark and that screw face that goes down and he's been one of the heavy hitters. One of the guys you want on the server as long as possible if you Dark Zero. Zelsis using the periphery of the Nebula for one, throws down the grenade and backs away and gets another one. And that's the so smart. as well. They have Cosmic Divide. I mean, this is over. Quit be locking down there. <laughs> this is looking like a GG's written all over it. Uh, the lockdown's also put in for a bit of overkill. Out comes Jammies.